This is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today we're here at Watson Lake Park here in Prescott, Arizona. And this is the site of the 2010 Raw Spirit Festival. Maybe I'll even sample out some jackfruit for lunch and share with some people and get their canted reactions. So here we have my lunch. This is a 20 pound jackfruit and then we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna eat it for lunch and then the rest I'm gonna share with everybody here at the festival and we're gonna get their reactions to how fresh jackfruits you know tastes and it's so delicious I can't wait to open it up we'll show you once we have it open as you saw that I had the jackfruit earlier we cut it open and this is the jackfruit carcass for lack of a better word there's no fruit left in there that's it's all been eaten and what I've been doing, I've been eating my lunch. This was 20 pounds of jackfruit, well, including the shell, but I've eaten all the fruit out of it. And uh, so this is all that I have left. So many people have been coming by and asking about this interesting looking tropical fruit. And most people unfortunately say, is that a durian? Because they see the sides and it looks pokey like a durian, but it's not a durian and most people don't know what the jackfruit is. So I'm sharing it with people today and we have a unsuspecting guest here who's going to be the next victim, <laughs> and we're going to feed her some jackfruit. And when I feed them the jackfruit, my message today that I share with them, because I tell them, you know, I'm sharing my lunch with you, mm. and I would like to share a message with you, and the message is that we want to remember to eat our fresh fruits and fresh vegetables as a basis of our raw foods diet, and we can't improve on Mother Nature. Even the best chefs and packaged foods aren't as good as fresh fruits and vegetables. That was delicious. And I can't even describe it, but it was just delicious. It almost has a bubblegum taste, but you know it's natural from Mother Earth. It's like as a kid, when you first had that first piece of bubblegum, you were like excited about it. That's kind of what that tastes like, but you know it's, it's fresh and vibrant and alive. Well, you know why it tastes like bubblegum? Do you know? No. Well, okay, so like uh, Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit Gum. This is the flavor of Juicy Fruit Gum. It's jackfruit. And many people don't know that, oh, so that's, what that's it tastes why. Like. Please, sir, may I have some more? Yes. <laughs> oh wow, so good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna walk around and share the rest of my jack and get some canted feedback on how it tastes. All right, so we're walking around the raw spirit festival and I'm sharing my jackfruit and here we have so this is Caitlin and uh, Caitlin have you had jackfruit before? No all right so um, I'm sharing my lunch with people today and my message is to let people know that we want to remember to eat fresh fruits and fresh vegetables as the you know basis of our raw foods diet and not necessarily packaged or prepared foods because we can't make nature any better than it is. And I'd like to share some jackfruit and get your response on how it is and how good it tastes. 100% natural, fresh jackfruit. <laughs> it's so good. You heard, her, you heard it from Caitlin. It's like juicy fruit. Jackfruit is like juicy fruit. And yes, it is. Actually, juicy fruit is like jackfruit. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, those will grow if you, uh, if you plant them. So we're going to share some jackfruit. So the message today that I'm sharing with people as I share my jackfruit, this is my lunch, right? This is a 20 pound jackfruit that I've eaten and then shared. You have to feed it to me. It always uh, tastes better when someone eats right. it. Mm. <laughs> no boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so my message that I'm sharing with people today is that you know, we want to eat fresh fruits and fresh vegetables as a, as a staple or the majority of our raw foods diet, and we can't improve on Mother Nature. And you saw her reaction. I she mean, loved it. I don't know if she loved being fed or just loving the fruit more. If I wasn't vegan, I might have taken his fingers too. <laughs> that fruit was good. Yeah, thank All right, you. Great, Yum. Thank you. See you. All right. So, would you like to try some jackfruit today? So, we're sharing jackfruit with people here at the festival. And I just want to let people know how good, you know, 100% fresh fruit could taste without any additives, fillers, or no recipes or anything. Isn't that amazing? Get his face on that. Look at that. Man, he's smiling so big. I don't know if he smiles normally. Man, but he is loving fresh jackfruit. And this is how good it should be on raw foods. 
It's your first time. Tell, tell them what you think. It's like a party. <laughs> it's like a like a party. Yeah. In your mouth. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Wow. This is good. Fresh jackfruit. It is simply amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you for saying Peace. That. So this is fresh jackfruit. So this was my lunch, and I encourage everybody to eat a, basically a diet that's rich in fresh fruits and vegetables, and that should be the basis of our raw foods diet. And so this was a 20-pound jackfruit that I'm sharing with everybody because most people have never tried this or even seen it fresh unless you go to somewhere like tropical Florida, like South Florida or Hawaii. And this is originally from like Southeast Asia. I've never seen it. Yeah, so it's it's totally amazing, and I want to just get your reaction on how it tastes on, on the video there. Mm. Awesome. Delicious. 100% fresh fruit. We can't improve on Mother Nature. Even the best raw food chefs, we, we, we just can't do it. It's just so delicious. Okay. Wow. It's like, I can't even compare it to anything exactly. I mean, wow. it's like a peach and a mango, but different. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's amazing. Great. So, how did you get it here? You... Yeah, so this one was grown in Mexico, okay. and it's a uh, um, it, it's fresh from yeah, oh, and I got it at 99 it. Ranch Market in, in Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah. And it's called again Jack Jackfruit. So remember the name Jack, and Jack found it. I guess some guy Jack something okay. or other found it, and then they named it after him, Jackfruit. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Okay. Thank sure. you. Okay, so today I'm sharing my lunch with people. This wow. Is, this is Jackfruit. I've seen them dried before. I've never seen them live like this. Yeah, so these yeah. are really rare to get these fresh. So yeah. when I go to like, you know, uh, Florida or Hawaii or that's tropical Florida, Florida, South Florida, I could find it. Live. Yeah, South Florida. They're still pretty rare though. Um, You could find these. So these are really rare. This one is actually grown in Mexico. Really? So this is a fresh jackfruit on my message today. Yeah, it looks like really bumpy. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And my message that I'm sharing people today as I share my lunch, this was 20 pounds and I'm, I'm just about done. I still need to eat a couple more pieces. But I want to let people know how good this tastes. And this is 100% fresh fruit, nothing added. And I want to get your response on how it tastes. Wow, holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a celestial fruit. The vibration and the, the flavor that's coming through from that is like celestial. Where can I get one of these? Yeah, these are very hard to find. They're really rare. So yeah. where do you live? Los Angeles. You're in so much luck. Oh my God, you could easily get these in LA in that oh, really? area. Oh, awesome. You're so lucky. Let's see. There's a place like, I think it's like Westminster. Okay. Or there's a place, there's some Asian stores that, that are down there that have these. So you have to go to an Asian store, like a big supermarket okay. usually has them. The Asian store has them. Okay. Yeah, and the, the best thing to do is you could get them whole, and this one was whole. Yeah. But you have to play a big chance unless you know what you're doing, selecting them whole, because they oftentimes pick them unripe. Oh. Because the Asians, what How they can do. You tell if they're ripe yeah, or not? sure. So what the Asians do is they take these seeds and they boil them and eat them, or they'll actually use the white part as like a vegetable. Like yeah. You cook them, but you, you can eat these raw, but there's no flavor. Flavor, really. Yeah, yeah. So the best thing to do for the unexperienced person is to buy them pre-cut. Oh. And when you buy them pre-cut, you can see the color. Yeah. And you want to look at all the ones that are pre-cut, and you want to get the one that's the darkest orange. Sometimes they're orange, or sometimes they're yellow. Oh, okay, yeah. Depending on the variety. The darkest. The darkest. And then you want to smell too. You should be able to like smell that. <laughs> mm. That's what it should smell like. It should smell really flowery and fragrance. Beautiful. Yeah. That yeah. is a masterpiece. That is such a divine gift of God. Oh, See that vibrance just coming through yeah, there? Yeah. God created that and the bright color is just, that is a blessing to humanity. Thank you. Thank you. So my message today that I'm sharing with people is you want to eat foods fresh. Yes. Fresh as possible. Grow yeah. it yourself. I mean, this is, as, this is as fresh as possible you could probably get here, yeah. uh, you know. And so I want to remind people that even, you know, raw food chefs can't improve on nature by making all their wonderful creations as wonderful as they are. We want to get back to basics and eat like every other animal on earth. You know, they just eat What's things there? fresh off the plants. Yeah, good. And nice. without refrigeration. And we want to do that too. And that's why I'm here. Awesome. Thank you, love. Thank Appreciate you. that. Sure. Great. I, promote, I promote all fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. All right. That should be the majority of our diet. And I like to turn people on to new fruits and new vegetables as fresh as possible. So this is fresh? No, this is fresh. Right. Freshest is bestest. And so I teach people how to grow their own food in their front yard. That's my card. Growingyourgreens.com. Unfortunately, I don't have a tropical place that I grow fresh jackfruit yet, but I will one day. 
and I'll share a lot more. Oh, you could grow jackfruit another day. So you've had jackfruit before, right? You haven't had jackfruit, all right. So I'm sharing fresh jackfruit with people, and I want to. This is my lunch. It was 20 pounds, and this is all that is left. I'm almost full, but I'm still. Well, I could still easily eat the rest because it's just, as you know, it's so delicious. Where do you get it, jackfruit? And my message today that I want to share is just the majority of our fresh, our raw foods diet should be fresh, fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. And when you eat something this good. I mean, you don't need to add anything to it, right? It's, right? I mean, it's just so delicious. But most people haven't tried jackfruit or any other really ripe fruit. You know, if you go to your farmer's market, you can get really ripe fruits that just taste much better than the ones from your store because they have to get pick most fruits unripe to ship so they don't get bruised and don't get damaged. I'm sure you've had fresh fruit off a tree and how wonderful that tastes. You just, like, don't want to eat anything else. Even the best raw food recipes can't compare to fresh fruits and vegetables picked out of your own garden. Yeah, man, I'm... I'm sharing jackfruit with people here at the festival. This was my lunch. It was a 20-pound jackfruit. And, you know, while I could still eat the rest, I really enjoy turning people on to really good food. And this is a really good jackfruit for being here in a non-tropical climate. It's one of the best I've had, actually. And so I want to turn people on to eating things that are fresh and vibrant. So I grow greens in my front yard. I don't grow any jackfruit yet, but I do have a couple of fruit trees. And I encourage everybody to eat the food freshest as possible because when you refrigerate foods, you know, some of the nutrition, up to 50% of some nutrients can be lost within 24 hours. So freshest is bestest, and I want to let people know that just, just fresh jackfruit alone is just the best dessert in the whole world. We don't need raw food candy bars or raw food balls when we have fresh jackfruit, and we're going to see how we can get a candid reaction to how it tastes. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, always smell your food before you eat it. Eat consciously. Conscious eating. Oh man. <laughs> Isn't oh that my good, God. man? Dude, I had the whole thing. This is like this is like my lunch. Oh, that is that is the tastiest thing I have had here. Can you eat this every day for lunch? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah man. And, and dinner. And dinner. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm saying, brother. Thank you so much. So right. we're sharing fresh jackfruit with Oh, with Sabra. Sabra, and she has an awesome Sabra kraut that I tried last night. It's good with the little jackfruit. Have a little salty, a little sweet, sour. Yeah. So I'm sharing jackfruit with oh, people and reminding so people much. they should eat the majority of their I, diet fresh. Oh, fresh so fruits true. and fresh so vegetables. True. And I do advocate using sauerkraut sometimes, mm. but the majority should be fresh. And check her out, she's loving that jackfruit. It's so good. Ugh. Love it. Love it. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of fermented foods, a lot of fresh foods. There you go. It. You heard it. Mm. From Sabra. You heard it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Would you like to try some jackfruit today? Sure. All right, here you go. <laughs> Sloppy, yeah. Mm, I gotcha. Wow, how does that taste to you? Is that really good? <laughs> Could you get this in Florida? Yeah, you have to go down to Homestead. You know where Homestead is? Homestead, yeah. Florida. It's it's, it's mm -hmm. south of Miami. You could go to this guy's place. He has a fruit stand down there. It's called um, Robert is here. Is this fruit stand? Yeah. Or go to the Fruit and Spice Park. Have you been to the Fruit and Spice Park in Homestead? Yes. yes That's an yes. amazing place, and they yeah. they grow jackfruit down there. Jackfruit. And Fairchild Farm down in Homestead. They also have fruits that they sell, and they sell jackfruit there sometimes too. Yeah. So was that a good jackfruit? Yes, it was. Jackfruit is awesome.